YouTube, this is G-Man coming at you. Got another question uh, that has been thrown at me on Facebook, and I'm just answering them on video because this is easier than typing a response. So, uh, anyways, this guy, his, uh, this is all public forum. His, his name's Joseph Westendorf. He uh, says, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Jesus die to absolve us from our sins? Okay, so that's his first question. And yes, Jesus did die to absolve, absolve us from our sins. Uh, but that sort of question carries along with it an implication that uh, seems to imply that it's okay for us to sin. And it is not okay for us to sin at all. Uh, sinning is not something that Jesus came and made it okay for us to do. What he did was take the uh, burden off of our shoulders for the payment for sin. Now, it's still uh, sins. It, we, we still sin, and we still have to uh, confess our sins according to 1 John 1, 9 in order to, uh, whenever we do sin, in order to get back into fellowship with God. Uh, so, it's a bad thing. It's not okay uh, for a Christian to sin. Never okay for a Christian to sin, okay? Uh, and then he says, that's why Christians no longer sacrifice animals, but didn't Jesus die to absolve us from all our sin? Okay, that's the reason that Christians no longer sacrifice animals. That's true enough. Probably a little bit more in there, but... Uh, that's why we don't have to stone people to death for working on the Sabbath. That's why we can shave. Uh, I think we could shave before, the, before Jesus died on the cross. I... Don't I think that was the shaving thing was something having to do with the vow of the Nazarite? I don't ever remember there being anything uh, to do with shaving before. Um, there might I don't know. There was 613 commandments uh, that was in a, you know that was included with uh, the Ten Commandments. There were not just Ten Commandments. There were 1613 of them. Uh, so anyways, that, that may have, there may have been something, and I don't know all of them, but there may have been something in there about shaving. So I'll give them that one. I, I don't know. Uh, let's see here. That's why we can wear multiple fabric articles of clothing. Okay. No problem there. If a real Christian read this and doesn't see that you're pretty much shouting at the top of your digital lungs that God and Jesus plan for my salvation isn't good enough for me because I know better than them then they aren't true Christians okay now there is a a uh, so there is an implication that is being implied here and I think that it is saying that you cannot there's a there is a difference between being saved and and living a Christian life, okay? You can be saved and be completely headed on your way to heaven, and whenever you get to heaven, you might even discover that uh, you didn't know you were going to be there. You, it might come as a surprise to you that you are actually made, that you actually made it to heaven. And that's because... Whenever you first got saved, you did not plan on, uh, you didn't know enough about the Bible, do about Bible doctrine, uh, and eternal security to know that, uh, once you get saved, it's, you're always saved. You, you don't lose your salvation. So you could go and you can break all the Ten Commandments. You, you, yes, you can sin. Yes, you can. And you can sin bad. You can become the worst sinner on the planet. 
that that's a sad thing if you do. That's a sad thing if you do. Uh, but God holds true. God said that his the work of his son on the cross, Jesus Christ, holds you to in his love. You will go to heaven. However, once you get to heaven, you're not going to be a happy camper because you're going to miss out on all the rewards, all the everything, all the pleasures that heaven has to offer. You're going to miss out on a ton of them. All the, you could you had a chance if you especially if you lived out your whole life and you until the day you died from an old person from natural causes you could have earned so much and done so much better here on this earth and and as a and as and received rewards for those uh, works of divine good that you did okay as opposed to human good and as opposed to sin there are three kinds of works a person can do human good divine good and sin divine good is the only one that God accepts so anyways whenever you're producing divine good that's whenever you pay attention to your sins that's one if you pay attention to 1 John 1, 9. And make sure that you're in spiritual fellowship with God. And you are able to live a life that is more uh, congruent with what the Bible teaches. And, and understand Bible doctrine. And uh, live in a situation where you're actually learning from the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is able to lead you and guide you. And you're living your daily walk with Christ. However, with, what this question has is a situation that it, that it implies is uh, that basically uh, if you go and sin, then you are not a true Christian. Okay, so he's not separating. He's not making the separation between a Christian versus uh, being saved. Okay? So, if you're living a good Christian life, then that is that there is a big difference uh, because you uh, you can e you can either be a bad Christian or you can be a good Christian, okay? And a bad Christians don't necessarily live a good Christian life. They don't necessarily live a Christian life. So this question, so this question here is uh you know calling somebody not a true christian well it's it's not a true christian or a false christian okay if you are saved you're either a bad christian or a good christian okay so uh it, it's you get saved and then if you're a good christian you follow the laws that god laid out before us you keep the 10 commandments you learn about you learn bible doctrine you learn about the dispensations, you learn all the different facets of uh, the techniques of a Christian life. You uh, and, and then you and then you apply them. You live according to those rules and, and that guide. And let's see. I don't want to get too far off topic. I've been going now for nine minutes. Uh, and I wanted to make the point that. Whenever you get saved, it's an act of it's no act of it's no act of works on your part. Whenever you get saved, you want to live a good Christian life. So that whenever and it is about whenever you get to heaven, you live a good Christian life so that you can live and have a better experience whenever you get to heaven. Okay, I'm going to stop it right there. I don't want to go over 10 minutes.